hello, true duelists. My name's Captain Disease Man, and there's no end in sight. Health is a myth, and anyone who says otherwise, I'm here to tell you you're 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 the re you're dumb. Now, well, welcome to the new card board. The Infinite Forbidden started with a look at some Exodia cards a few months ago, or weeks ago, times the enemy, and I assumed that this would be another minimal impact, more nostalgia focused set, something like Legacy of Destruction, because only Tenpai is only doing so much. But time, my ever present mortal enemy, has proven me wrong once again, because there are two new cards in this set that seem like they have good potential to potentially be generic staples. Potential to what? Potentially. There you go, I said it three times, and so now it's funny, and not just me fumbling a sentence. So with no more delay, Ash Blossom 2.0 and Evenly 2.0. Huh? Let's take a look at that. I'll start with Vesper Girsu, because I can say that, surely. And if I can't, then I'll pray they'll just localize it to, like, Tommy's Toilet Time or something fucking stupid, and then I won't have to think about it. This quick play spell will require the opponent control two or more monsters than you do, and will then let the opponent send any number of their monsters they control to the graveyard. After that, one of four effects will be applied depending on how many monsters they control once they've sent however many they're going to send. If they choose to send all of their monsters to the grave so that they control none, you, the person who activated this card, will lose half your life points. If they keep only one monster, they will gain 2,000 life points, and if they decide to keep two monsters, they'll have to banish their hand face up until the end phase. But don't worry, because if they choose to keep three or more monsters, they won't be allowed to activate monster effects for the rest of the turn. Hot damn. It's kinda like evenly matched, but designed with the other player in mind. <laughs> I've said before that I don't particularly care for evenly matched, not because it's necessarily too powerful, but because I don't feel like whenever it resolves it makes for an interesting duel. It's entirely one-sided, and while the gates exist, I've never really been like, damn, what a great duel after evenly resolved, regardless of whether I'm the one winning to it or losing to it. But this adds a lot of factors that Evenly doesn't get to do that make it far more interesting. For starters, back row don't care about this at all, making it weaker. And beyond that, it's only Evenly if they choose to keep one or no monsters. The opponent does control how many they'll be keeping, which you can never be exactly certain of how many they'll choose to keep. I mean, you can definitely, and to realistically, be certain they're not going to be keeping three or more, since if they do, not only do they not get any monster effects for the entirety of their turn, but this card also will say no monster effects at all, which means no hand traps, no graveyard effects, no nothing. If they don't have hand traps, they'll probably keep two, since it might not mind having hand information be revealed when they can keep actual meaningful cards on board to do things. And again, if they don't have hand traps, is it really that big a deal? because not only can this be used out of the battle phase, this can be used on the opponent's turn as well, assuming they have two more monsters than you. And at that point, banishing the hand will go from, well, I don't need the hand traps, to no, no, I need my fucking hand. And then you might think to keep only one monster, which means that this is an evenly of sorts that can impact the opponent even in their own main phase, which is pretty fucking crazy. But it's also an evenly that isn't always great in time either, because if you use this in game two or three, and they decide, fuck it, I'm not scared, they can opt to have your life points or gain 2,000. And if you can't put that life point total of theirs below yours, you might not be able to win in time because of those pesky little time rules. I don't think that's going to be incredibly often with this card, but I've seen crazier shit happen, man. I watched a Raid Raptor player activate Shave Force in time to make Infinity, paying half his life points to pass the turn to the opponent and immediately lose. But this spell is like, maybe Regeki, maybe Featherstorm, and otherwise a pretty damn good bit of disruption or board clearing. I know evenly matched isn't the most exact or equal comparison, but this is like the thinking man's evenly matched, and an evenly matched for a new class of duelist. I really like it, I, I approve of that card design, and I expect I will bitch about this when I inevitably lose to it some point in the future, and I can't wait. And then there's this. A new generic trap card by the translated name of Dominus Purge. Look at that, I can pronounce two card names in this video. This card can be activated from the hand if your opponent controls a card, and is a functionally weaker version of Ash Blossom. Because if a card or effect is activated that includes an effect to move a card from the deck to the hand, you can negate that effect. 
And if you have a trap card in your graveyard, you can also destroy that card. The catch is, if you activate this card from the hand, you will not be able to activate the effects of dark monsters, fire monsters, or water monsters for the rest of the duel. And you know that's got a once per turn clause on it. So just fuck Unchained entirely and Altergeist or pick your preferred deck that plays one or more of those three attributes. Now obviously this will not replace Ash Blossom, much like the Molt Chummy Mini C of the new Max C variety that we got a few weeks ago. This only covers one section of what Ash Blossom could do. Mini C only covers summons from hand and new not ash but a trap only covers from deck to hand this can't touch sending from deck to grave nor special summons from the deck using it from the hand also means you won't be able to use ash because that's a fire monster that's presumably why fire is on that effect uh, limitation why water and dark are as well is beyond me uh, mini c just shuffled your hand if it got too big as the drawback and this makes half of the decks in the game unplayable. So I, I don't know, is that worth it? I don't really think so. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's bad, and of course you can use this after it's been set and you won't be hit with that restriction. But that's asking a lot when turn one is so crucial and you're a literal hand trap. Yeah, like Ludwig can't even complain about ass traps here because that is a trap that you can play from your hand. It's awesome that it's got that pseudo imperm can be played from the hand if the opponent has things and it doesn't even matter if you have things. You, if you both have cards, but the opponent does, you can just drop this card from your hand, which is solid. You just need to make sure you're not playing dark water or fire. I like the direction of the new cards in the set broadly. They're tamer than older cards that we've been using, but the restrictions of attributes on this new trap are a little bit too much for a third of what Ash Blossom does. Even if it can pop the card that it stops, that's not a really worthwhile exchange. Again, unless you're playing like, I don't know, Flu Wanderees. May as well say you can't pay you can't pay, come on, you can't play half the monsters in the game. If you like getting into fights though, play this. Uh, in a deck with something like Vanity's Fiend, which is a dark monster with a continuous effect and one that does not activate. So you, you can do that. It's just people will hate you. Mostly because you're playing Vanity's Fiend and Floodgates fucking suck. But hey, you know, a new player might want to call the judge and you can waste everyone time. Power's up to you, man, do you. It's not as cool as the new evenly, but it's an interesting promise for future design. Just next time, you know, let me play the game a little bit after using your card which is a weaker version of a staple that's existed for seven years. Just a suggestion. And that's it, just two cards in this one because they, they wasted enough fucking time, didn't they? Uh, so that's it, thanks as always to the LIFD Magnetic Display for supporting my channel. The best way to support me financially and the true duelist approved way to show off your favorite cards, okay? When you got those ashes from whatever, maybe you got them from the structure deck, maybe you got them from the rarity collection and then these get hit because they're clearly pushing new ash blossoms so it's whoa conspiracy this man's gonna get the this guy's gonna get the ash blossom ban and stuff and you, well, you may be but it won't be me it'll be that trap card and then you'll be like what do i do with these ash blossoms fucking throw them in display okay 50 percent off why she has stress 15 type it in at the discount code click the link in the description either way thanks to lift for the support and thank you for watching so that wraps it up just covering some new cards in this one. The update will be out on Friday as always. And until then, I've been your host, Disease. That's it, cough, sick. Someone commented and said, why do YouTubers make videos when they're sick? There's just no gain to it. And I completely agree. Unfortunately for everyone involved, the algorithm was made to be not. Oh no, I messed up. The algorithm was made to be watched and not to be worked under. Two very different things, unfortunately. So here I am sweating under the fucking lights and wishing I was asleep. That's all there is. I like the video. Like I say, for every like, I get a little bit healthier. That's literally how it works. This channel is directly tied to my physical well-being. Hit subscribe, impress your Italian wife, heal the man through the power of likes, and become a true duelist. The power of a button, folks. Watch it in action. What the fuck does this say? And more than that, the other new cards have proven me wrong. These two... Like these two generic potentials, this is the worst sentence. Gee, who wrote this?